What is up everybody, Eddie Soundhand back once again with another episode of NASCAR Heat 2 Championship Mode and today we are underway here at Pocono for the Pocono 400 I think it's called, I don't really know it, I didn't really check either. But we're starting at the back and uh, here for the second and final time at Pocono during the season. I always feel, I, I think I said this in our uh, career season 3 I think it was, uh, that these races are just too close together. The, both the Pocono and Michigan races are way too close together. They should be spread out way more. But, um, yeah, I guess that's life. So, back at Pocono, already gained almost 10 spots in one corner. So, we, uh, evidently, this setup is pretty good. It's the same one I used last time. I didn't change it. In fact, I didn't even really look at it before qualifying. Didn't help us much in qualifying, but in race trim, uh, it's not too bad, so, or in race conditions, I should say, as I just tap Chris Busher, and he's gonna save it, it looks like, so nice save by him. I feel like I always run into these JTG cars on accident, it happens a lot, they probably hate me, I, I don't, I don't even want to think about how many hundreds of thousands of dollars I probably cost them in race cars, because uh, I bet that's a pretty scary number to think about. Getting down here underneath Eric Jones at Pocono. You know, I, I do like the Pocono races the last couple years have been pretty good. Like, I, I, some about Pocono, I used to hate watching races here. Now I kind of like it. Um, it's been put on a good show. I'm a little bit bummed out. Last year, I missed it because the second Pocono, well, I missed the, like everything but the last 20 laps of the first Pocono. No. Whatever Pocono race that Ryan Blaney won, I missed everything except for like the last restart. Because um, I was actually at graduation graduating and this year I'm gonna miss the first one because I'm gonna be in Detroit for the Detroit GP um, so missing out on the Pokemon races and I actually like them so I'm a little bit bummed about that as we are gonna crack the top 20 here with a nice little three wide pass to the bottom and then send it up high in the corner Let's see. I don't remember where we finished last time I don't think we won Pocono but I can't remember. My memory fades fast on these career and championship videos, so I really should look back at them before I run them and uh, get a good feel of how I did last time and where I can improve what went wrong. Having a pretty clean race other than our little run-in with Chris Busher there. So as soon as I say that, I smack the wall. What a legend. i get a little bit of a tap from Austin Dillon there, too. Thanks for that. Got the side banged up pretty good, and then I throw it in the wall. Wow, I need to pay attention. That crash literally started because I didn't look where I was going. That is awesome. That's something that would only happen to me. Well, there you go. Distracted driving, proven to be catastrophic. I uh, opened up the uh, car damage menu to see how bad the damage was, and as I did, I slammed the wall coming off of turn three, and then got piled into from behind. So. Starting at the back once again, what else is new? Feel like we do this every race now. Or we have to go to the back at least once, but we're just gonna fly through this first corner here. And I'm not gonna go four wide. I'm not that stupid, so. And I scraped the wall for good measure. Why not? All right, we got some ground to make up here. Get, oh, here they come to pit road. Wow, that's a lot of them, okay. Um, so I got to think about pitch strategy here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. We've got six laps of fuel. So I guess I'll have to pit at the end of the stage. I don't know. We're probably going to lose some ground because of it. As I get a run here on the outside of Bubba. I'm going to try and sneak to the out. Oh, I tried to sneak to the outside of Menard and I clipped him. That did not go as planned. All right, back behind Bubba now. Or Daryl Wallace Jr. This is government name tunnel turn I feel like I've gotten better in this tunnel turn I used to be terrible down there I think the setup I used to use was terrible around there for sure though so the setup I have now is much much better it's not fantastic but it's way better than the ones that I used to use in career mode and here comes uh, the, <laughs> it looks like they thought about going to pit road but they're not gonna do it yeah, thinking back to the, the setups I did in the uh, Season 3 career mode, some of those were just downright terrible. Um, I'm glad I've gotten a little bit better at doing setups and actually took the time out of the day to learn about the you know, what goes into setting up a car and what does what, rather than just throwing a bunch of crap at the, at the car and seeing what sticks or uh, what 
What does it as? Oh, I think Kurt's out of gas. Oh my God, I got squeezed through the middle there. How did I not just blow that horribly? I saw my light flash from my eyes again. And I think Al Merol's out of gas. He's going real slow. Wow, okay, well that was the most ridiculous ending to a stage ever. And I'm gonna slap the wall again for good measure, why not? Dude, that tunnel turn squeeze was insane. I just got completely squeezed. That could have been really bad, actually. I'm glad that went well. All right, starting in second. I did pit. We have enough fuel to make it to the end. Uh, just barely, it looks like. So we're going to have to uh, do our best here, obviously. And uh, just hope for the best, try not to crash, because I feel like we do that all the time here at Pocono. We've already done it once today, so we need to keep that crash stat to one on the day today. Jimmy Johnson's going to battle me on my inside, and I'm getting a good run down the backstretch here to clear him. I'll run a little bit higher in the tunnel turn, and he's going to back off, and we're going to take the lead. Down the back stretch and down into turn three here. It's hard to make a setup for Pocono too because the corners are just so different. Um, so the setup that I have right now, like I said a little bit earlier, is is quite nice though. But Jimmy's getting a huge run on me down this straightaway. But I think once we get down here into the first turn, we're going to be all right here, and we are. Got a little high there, and then the caution is out at Pocono. All right, restart in first. We have enough fuel to make it to the end now, so that's not a concern. And it just wouldn't be a race in our championship season if there <laughs> there wasn't a uh, a late race caution. It seems like we have one every race. The AI. I guess when they pit, they all end up crashing into each other. It's a weird thing. Hopefully, they fix that in the next game. Uh, where it happens less because it does happen especially at the super speedways it tends to happen but it doesn't really happen at Pocono unless you're talking about a couple years ago when uh was it Casey Kane and like David Reagan or somebody like both crashed in the same spot on pit road I forget who else it was involved it might have been Jeb Burton actually heck I think it was in the Dr. Pepper car I remember that anyway got Brad He's trying to get to, oh my God, I got way too low. I just saw the race flash before my eyes again. Okay, that was far too close. I thought I blew it. I nearly choked. All right, I, this has to be a fantastic set of corners right here then if I'm gonna even dream about winning this race now. And I got through there pretty good. So Brad and Jimmy are gonna fight amongst themselves back there. I think we've got it here on the final lap. I think we're going to be okay. Come down through the tunnel turn for the final time. And this will pretty much do it for Pocono this season. I do like this track. It's a little bit annoying in this game, but it is a nice track. I'd actually like to attend a race here at some point. It would be kind of fun. Um, not sure how great the viewing angles are, but I'd definitely go see it. And we got a win at the Tricky Triangle. That's two wins in a row right there. Not bad at all. Take another win to the house. Helps our championship. All right, here are our finishing standings. Me first, his last second looks like Bowman was third. And um, nothing too out of the ordinary in this race, doesn't look like. Chris Busher a couple laps down. Hopefully that's not related to that contact we had with him, but it probably is. And we're still your championship leader by quite a large margin, over 100 points, 70 playoff points. Wow. Jimmy Johnson, third, Kyle Busch, fourth, Truex, fifth. And we get an eagle with what appears to be an American flag that is placed in a way that makes it look like the eagle is having a very good time. And that is, oh, I guess that was the Overton's 400. My bad. I called the Pocono 400 earlier. And that one's in the books. That's it for Pocono this season. Next up is Watkins Glen. So I guess we'll get another win in a row. That'll be like three now. So 
we'll take it thanks as always ladies and gentlemen for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit that like button for me and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe you can follow me on twitter and instagram at ed soundhead and you can look in the description we have a bunch of different links for all of our social media accounts so you can follow us on there too and you'll never miss a video or an update if you follow those so thank you everybody and i will see you in the next one